Hello, my name is Jesse Tom. Thanks for watching my sports science series. Today I would like to give you a, a brief introduction to the starting block. When coaching young athletes, one of the major problems that we have in coaching is making sure that their starting blocks are correct. What I have here is a shoestring from the dollar store, and let me demonstrate to you how we use that. string with my markings already predetermined. I take the first little dot here, place it on the line. The second one lines directly up with my first block, and the third little dot lines up with my last block. And this is important to make sure that young athletes and hurdles and sprinters know their mark. And then besides, this will eliminate the athlete saying, Coach, how do I set my blocks? Coach, how do I set my blocks? Well, if they have a shoestring, this will assist them. Always carry the shoestring around and place it up and mark your marking on the blocks because indoors and, and, and various different types of blocks that are being designed, they have different placements. So you want to make sure that the athletes have that correct, your, your start itself. And that's equally important, I mean, it's real important in the hurdles because the lead leg has to be placed correctly in the rear of the block so that the athlete will be able to go down and hit his mark each time when going over the hurdles. And what I would like to do at this time is give you a standing demonstration of what I'm talking about. What I'd like about. to do now is take the time to demonstrate to you some of the errors that young athletes uh, commit when, when learning how to use the blocks and running the hurdles. Most athletes will come up and not even know which leg actually belongs on the line. If you're running the hurdles and if you're a right lead leg person, it belongs in the rear. And the reason it's in the rear because that's the leg that you're actually going to go over the hurdles with. So they need to remember that. The same applies for when using the blocks. That lead leg goes in the back. And if the athlete is standing up and he's using no blocks and he have a tendency to change leg, if this is his lead leg, as he approaches the hurdle, he's going to stutter. That's what you want to prevent the athlete from doing, stuttering. 